That there is gold, pure gold, one gram of gold. And that guy there is a diamond, the hardest material on earth. So, which one of these do you think cost more? First of all, I'm going to actually show you how much these guys weigh. So, that there is a scale. So, the gold should weigh about a gram. And it weighs a pretty decent gram. And the diamond weighs about mm, 0.3 grams. And diamonds are usually measured in carats. And a carat is 0.2 grams. So that's about a, a one and a half carat diamond. And if you're thinking, but hey, that diamond looks bigger than the gold, that's because in terms of volume it is. Gold is incredibly dense stuff. Uh, whereas diamond is much more so comparable to rock type densities. So back to the original question. Which one of these actually cost more? Well, in terms of absolute value, gold's about $50 a gram. So that's about $50, $40, $50, that sort of thing of gold. This diamond, however, cost about $15 off eBay. Um, so in terms of price per gram, they're actually pretty comparable. This is a third gram diamond and it was $15, so it's going to be about $45, $50 per gram, that sort of thing. That's my diamond there, and that, where is it, there it is, that is some mercury. So first of all, will diamonds float in mercury? And even better, will diamonds bounce off of mercury? <laughs> confession time. I did expect it to float really quite well. Uh, I didn't expect it to be the sort of reverse iceberg, 90% out of the water, although I suppose with hindsight it's obvious. Uh, now, this I didn't expect, even with the benefit of hindsight, that when it comes to actually getting the diamond out of here, what's the best way to do it? Well, <laughs> it's the mercury that's all pushing for you, come on, come on. Just like that. There you have one separated diamond from mercury. <laughs>